All right, guys, welcome to the third annual Fox Bite Open. Jim here from Disc Golf Raw. I'm joined by Harry Chase. I want to thank Arlington RV Supercenter in East Greenwich, Rhode Island for sponsoring this. Harry, what's going on? Hey, Jim. Good to be here. My first time in the booth, and it's going to be a really exciting round. How are you feeling after round one? You're at minus nine. You got a couple strokes on the lead. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling great. Uh, nine down's a great score for Willow Valley. I do have a bit of a lead, but we got some chasers. It's going to be exciting. Let's check out our leader card. You always crushing the slow-mo games. And at minus nine, next up we got Matthew Boyle at minus six from Kingston, Rhode Island. Another local guy. Excited to see how he plays. Absolutely. Matt is great. We got Larry Warwick here from West Warwick, Rhode Island, playing in his first MPO tournament and making the lead card, doing great things. And finally, we've got Ben Beer- Ben Fiersick from Waterford, Connecticut. We've seen him a lot in Connecticut courses. Really cool guy. Excited to see him tackle this one. That's going to bring us to hole one, 298 par three. Big thanks to Hops on Par for doing this drone footage. How do you tackle this one, Harry? I tackle it taking my Sky God 4 as a pretty straight shot here. You do have to worry about this cave right at the end, uh, which is actually OB, but you just got to commit to this drive, kind of focus away from it and just throw a straight shot with a subtle fade and uh, start off with a birdie. It's got to be the first hole I've ever seen with a cave on it, so uh, that's that's a little variable. It's an interesting feature, and, and you'll see a lot of them by uh, course designer Norm, who is very unique. This is looking good out of your hand. A little early on the hyzer, but that's nice skip there. That'll putt. Absolutely. What you're looking for, getting in the circle and uh, seeing what you can do from there. We did have a little weather today. Nothing crazy. We had some rain throughout, but uh, cold. Cold for sure. Let's see how Matt's going to tackle this. He's throwing an XL hard link. We're going to see some Dismania, some Innova out of him. Throws a nice uh, mixed bag. I like his style a lot. Kind of a slower walk up, and this looks great. Oh, right off the rock right there. Yeah, Matt has put a lot of work into his form, and uh, he's grown a lot over the last few years. One of the best players that plays locally in Rhode Island, so it's going to be great to see him try to chase me down. Next up, we got Larry throwing a zone here. We're going to see a lefty look out of him all day. Maybe a little turned over here, but decent sized putt coming up for Larry. Yeah, you got to imagine there's a little bit of nerves, not only in his first film round, but first MPO tournament. He does play here a lot and has some pretty fire scores, so he'll be just fine today. Ben's also also throwing a zone representing the whole state of Connecticut, and this looks real nice. Yeah, great line from Ben. A couple of really good shots out of him. You play with Larry a lot. Do you play with Matt a lot also? Yeah. I mean, I'd say Larry and Matt are probably the two best players that play all the time in Rhode Island, and they're at almost every doubles league. So, oh, almost there by Larry. Good, though, to commit. Leaving that short would have landed him right in the cave, and it's not what you want. Birdie to start for you with the lead would be big. Are you thinking this is a must-get birdie to start? Absolutely. Wow. Easy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got to set the tone early, and um, – just one of those things. First putt, commit to it, and uh, that's going to set you off on the right track. Good par there for Larry. Got to get the par here. Birdie is always a bonus. Really fun hole to start. I like the different kind of look. It's not a big gap off the tee, so birdie is great. Real nice birdie from Ben. Yep, and we're going to see three of them here after uh, we'll see how close Matt got right off the rock just to the right of the cave. Does it well. Tapping. Absolutely parked. Yeah, really cool hole. That's going to bring us to the next hole here, hole two. One of my favorites, kind of a sneaky straight line, but a couple gaps to hit. 269, this is where we felt a little wind on this hole. Yeah, you hit it right on the head. This is really a sneaky straight shot. Uh, A lot of people will try to play a flex and get next to the basket, but a straight shot is going to put you at 20 feet if you get the uh, distance right. So I'm looking to just throw a dead straight shot and get myself in the circle. You feeling a little pressure off after that first birdie or still still feeling it? Definitely a little pressure off. It's just good to get that first one, especially on a nice putt, and uh, just attack the round from there. I don't see any pressure there. That was uh, picture perfect. That's a great shot. So Matt looking to get a stroke back here, trying to do the same thing with that link again, and just doesn't get enough turnover here. About pin high, but some work to do there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that never even wanted to go right at all, and he's still going to have a putt just on circle's edge. So good shot there for Matt. Ben going to an eagle here, a little something faster, looking to get a skip, which in these leaves is kind of tough, but that'll be a look for him for sure. We got Larry here with a Crescent Falcon 2 MD4. Shout out Dismania. Flipping up pretty good and going to find a putt. I like the way this this hole lines up for a lefty for sure. Just need a little more push out of Larry there. Dude's dialed in, though. He doesn't look uh, nervous at all. He's pretty focused. 
Great run. All right, about uh, 50 feet here for Ben. Good height on him. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Big hit there from Ben. That was from about 55. Let's see that again. That's back-to-back -back birds for the local Connecticut guy representing. That was a great putt. Super. It was really important to just give it a chance, and he had it the height the whole way. Awesome putt, Ben. Matt with a similar distance here looking to dial this one in. He just left it a little low. You might have felt you right behind him, just staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, What are you looking at here? About fifteen? No, yeah, on. about Easy. closer than that. And uh, that was definitely one I knew I couldn't miss. Two for two, good start. Larry looking to get a birdie. Kind of two uh, two looks there for him, but we're moving on. That's going to move us over to hole three. Four eighty-five. This is a first par four, really fun. Maybe the signature hole in this course, would you say? It's one of them for sure, and um, one that's not easy as well. You just got to get out this gap. Ideally, you want to get left and towards the basket, but splitting this gap is going to get you in birdie position, and it's pretty tight. So we'll see how our players attack it. How aggressive are you thinking walking up to this tee? You're going for kind of a big bomber off the tee. What are you thinking? Honestly, no. I'm, I'm just taking the FD2 and just trying to hit the gap. It's pretty stable, so it will get left, but the gap is really the main thing. I'm not looking to get an eagle or anything. Just a little yank there. Yeah, just off. A little bit wind, and uh, it's tight. So, Ben going to a forehand here, which I thought was interesting. This F Model S, a little kind of a flippy fairway. Just a little too high. Yeah, I don't hate the play. It's it's really just getting out of the gap however you feel comfortable. And I know he throws a lot of forehands. So. Matt said this was a brand new instinct, super freshy and stable. And watch, this got to be one of the best shots on this hole. This is position A. Absolutely. Like, if you could place a drive that's pretty realistic with a seven speed as well, that's where you want to put it. And this is looking nice from Larry. Just needed to miss that one tree. Not a bad result, though. Still right at that uh, kind of the mouth. What are you thinking here? I was standing right behind you. <laughs> no. Well, I'm rolling disc I've never rolled before. So it's a C-line PD and was happy to put it in the middle. Nice choice there. Yeah, that's great. Up and down for par. Larry's got a decent look here. Just kind of got to get by this gathering of trees on the right here and puts a nice flex on it just needed to miss that one rock wall uh, unfortunate roll away there i mean larry's got great forehand power i think any lefty that wants to compete needs it and uh just didn't get the height enough such a great course rocks with the signature rhode island trees really fun course to to watch absolutely uh, rhode island courses they're few and far between but their rocks are, are definitely signature. That's why you need a lot of premium plastic out here. You'll get beat up pretty quick. And Matt just needs a little chip here. Puts a little too much sauce on it. And lucky to hit that last tree. That'll still putt. But he just take a little off there. But that'll work. Yeah, that new p pin position actually on those little rocks. It used to be on the rock before it. So it's a little trickier now to, to really park it. Getting in the circle is, is what you want. And the real place is just to hit that rock and... I was able to do that there. That's going to give me a tap in. Yeah, great control there. Something about these blue baskets, really fun to watch. It's a great upgrade. A lot of wooded courses just kind of have gray, silver baskets. So nice touch from you guys there. A little layup here from Ben. Yeah, really fun hole. It's, I would say it's on the harder side, but play it smart, and we'll see if Matt can get this birdie here. Left the last one a little bit short. We'll see if he can commit here. This is the first green we start to see kind of death putts on all sides, <laughs> which is a common theme here. Yeah, just snuck that one in. That'll work. That's a great correction right there, and uh, going to put him two under for the round, chasing me down. Larry still trying to sniff out that birdie, three for three pars. Yeah, this is a course that has pretty specific lines, and if, if you're hitting them, you can get a lot of easy birdies, but you will see a lot of pars here, and uh, that's what we're seeing from Larry so far. Kind of a good mix after that open hole. We're going to hole four. This is a tight, short, very wooded hole. 242. Got to get over this rock wall. There is OB on the right-hand side. A couple different plays here. Yep, it's just tucked in that corner right there on the bottom right of the screen. Uh, hard to find, but is possible on something that gets too turned over or a kick or something like that. And Matt going to a forehand here. This is a Z sparkle zone, which I feel like is a tight play to get that kind of flexed in there and pays the price there a little bit what are you reaching for here this is the disc right here c line glow p2 a little high for me and uh, bad <laughs> kick 
Don't you, OB. You found that OB by an inch, maybe. You yeah, the the wall has uh, receded a little bit. It may have saved me in years past, but uh, going to find it, unfortunately. Ben going to a zone as well, and kind of the same spot as Matt goes. I think that forehand is a tough play on this hole. Let's see how Larry tackles this one. Good height out of Larry. Tough kick. Yep, tight cap here, and although the forehand may not be the best play, they are in bounds and then going to be able to easily get up and down. So it does avoid the OB, and uh, there is a gap that you can hit. So we'll see how their layups go. Seems like a course that has uh, a lot of spiders on it. You see any w <laughs> nasty wildlife out here? Um, well, it's fox bite for a reason. I think a few years back a fox actually picked up a disc with yeah. its mouth and uh, dragged <laughs> it off. So. That's the most notable I see. I have heard that. That's a great story. All right, so you're looking to jar this. I mean, you got a long putt here, but this is a big putt. Yeah, it's about 60, and uh, just lipped out, didn't hate it, and uh, going to have to settle for bogey. Let's see if these guys can capitalize. This is a good, good par putt by Matt. Who are you feeling the most pressure for? I mean, obviously Matt's three down. You know you got a bogey you're about to tap in. I mean, at this point, it's got to be Matt. Um, only three back of me where the others are a bit further and I know he's played this course a lot so for him but I was pretty fortunate here I mean this is a, a hole you're gonna see birdies on more likely than not in the MPO field and uh, nobody was able to get two on me there so good thing seen any ace runs on that hole or any aces I hit the pole last year and um, I think I forget who but someone did ace it with a Ricky Steeler pyro there we go that's going to bring us to hole 5, 468. This is my absolute favorite hole in this course. you got to get through this first gap, then you're kind of wide open, and you're going through a bunch of gaps, but a cool kind of layered hole with elevation. Absolutely. I think one of the most scenic views on this entire course is standing at the basket and looking back towards the tee pad, and uh, it's a fun hole to play for sure. We're going to see Matt going to this star roadrunner, which I thought was an interesting look. He's looking to flip one up and just needed to miss that tree. That would have flipped over real nice, and that's – that's jail over there. Yeah, he tried to go a little bit local route there, which even I haven't seen, and uh, didn't work out this time. Ben's been working on his backhand, and this is a nice flexor. I niced him. <laughs> Still not bad, though. You're in that open field. That's a good spot. Yeah, he's, he's past the first row of trees. So he'll have an open shot for Bird. We got Larry here working with a Rive. Really good shape, and does beat the last tree. That is ideal. That's Rive where you want to be. <laughs> I love these tee shots on this course. A lot of them are elevated off the tee, so you can't really see the landing zone. You just got to know the hole, which I think it looks like you absolutely pured this. Yeah, until a ghost style. tree, I guess. Um, I thought I knew the hole and uh, did me dirty there. Matt trying to do a little maybe too much here. That was very wooded over there. He'll move up about 50 feet and do it again. So he knows he's got to get this close. He's got a big mound of boulders in his face. Yeah, and this is just a ridiculous shot. I mean, he's going with the FD here, so needs a touchy forehand and <laughs> gets it to a putt. That is really good from back there. And this is kind of Ben's specialty zone, kind of forehand up shot. Need to swing that a little left and <laughs> finds his <laughs> crevice here. Where'd it go? We'll see uh, We'll see if he's okay. And what are you throwing here up shot? This is FD3, uh, metal flake from the European Open run, and uh, there's those signature rocks getting in the way. So going to have a similar putt to Matt. What kind of arm speed do you think you're putting on that? 95, 100? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe we'll need a radar gun. I've, I've never checked. So. Oh, wow, Matt. That's a great shot out of Larry. He says, I don't need speed. I'm just going to flip this right in. That was an awesome shot. Good run from Matt. That would have been a great par. And this green is really tricky. A lot of rollaways can happen. We've seen it in the past. And uh, fortunate to just sit down there. We'll take a par. All right, so Ben can't even see the basket here. And he doesn't realize it's a huge death putt. He's oh. like, what? what? <laughs> Jarred it. Absolute great putt. I was kind of surprised he ran that, <laughs> but I guess you got to go <laughs> for it. Not his first great putt of the round either. <laughs> he's, uh, he's put on a couple highlights for the reel. Understandable bogey there from Matt after that second shot. Real nice birdie. There's Larry's first birdie. Getting on the board. Scores are all over the place. We're moving. Nice par from you there. That's going to bring us to hole six. 225. I'm thinking ace runs here, but this green is tricky. Yeah, this is one of the biggest surprises for people that have never played this course. It just looks like it's sitting right there waiting to be aced, and you get down here, and it's, whoa. One of the most elevated baskets in New England, probably six and a half feet up there, so distance control is key here. Really a common theme for this course. Kind of baits you to ace run, and then you see it. If you've never played it before, you're like, oh, this is an easy hole. 
and then stuff like this can happen and that put Ben like 80 past really fun hole Larry going back to that zone and super tight gap not able to get all the way through but it's better than most so we'll leave him with a easy par or possibly a runnable putt and this is looking real pure out of you with a little rock kiss <laughs> yep almost got all the way through but uh i think put me on the circle marker so we'll have a putt matt going to a dx stud just looking to flip one up gets a little too flippy here and this is a big old kick for matt this is going to be a tough tricky up and down here i was trying to figure out which gap he was going for looking to kind of turnover forehand here yeah i was right behind him not really much and hits the Great base shot. amazing shot there I helped helped a little bit by the tree kick yeah, but uh agreed well done there for Matt. Scary run here from Larry. I got to admit, he's going for it, but this is scary. All right. Yeah, really fun hole. You'd said this uh, basket was just recently elevated. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Um, it actually used to be on a tire, and it was a, about a foot lower, and then uh, Q did some work out here to make it more legit, so... Uh, you saw Catch Cam Q there as well. Shout out to all the work he does on the course and everything for the Rhode Island community especially. Yeah, way to go, Q. Nice putt there from Larry to clean it up. Yeah, not only can he uh, do work behind the camera, he's doing course work. He's all over the place. Good par there from Ben. All right, so these scores, these guys are creeping up on you. You're starting to feel pressure? A little bit, yeah. I mean, this is a, a tournament I've won in the past before, and a course I've played a lot before. So it's kind of one of those things where – few things didn't go my way and I play my game and I know I'm gonna do well so here we go we're moving back up the hole for hole seven back up the hill excuse me for hole seven 236 is a short one but uh elevated wooded rocky the list goes on and on <laughs> we're gonna see this hole played a little bit different today I think uh 236 was the old location and it was just moved back about 20 feet so it changes the hole more than you think Ben putting a nice move on this f model s and just hits that early tree this I is, like that play. Yeah, this is one of the tighter gaps on the course. It's pretty specific. Um, a couple of different ways to play it. Larry's going to show us a forehand with a PD and get about pin high. Yeah, that was the gap I was thinking maybe just needed something a little more stable. You're looking straight up the middle on this? Yeah, I'm going origin up the middle, and I had never really thrown this hole until today. So did a uh, different play from round one and couldn't get up there either time. Matt, going back to that stable instinct. Yeah, and he's going to show us the route, which I think is definitely the preferred route. Never going to ace it, but going to get you right up the biggest possible gap and almost a park job there. And this was an early release kind of shank out of Ben. He was laughing, but, you know, <laughs> no pictures on the scorecard. That's parked. Good up and down. Looking to jam this one in. Uh, what are you looking at, 60? Uh, a little closer, but uh, definitely looking to make it. And uh, going to leave it short, unfortunately. Good run, good run. Larry, similar distance. I feel like he's due for a big putt here. <laughs> he's dialed in. He's yeah, these here. baskets, they uh, they catch. They do a good job of catching discs that should be caught. Uh, mm -hmm. Not the widest catching radius, but they're really good at catching the putts that you know are going to go in. So we see a few left, a few right. Um, nothing egregious yet. I like it. These scores are starting to get tight. This is interesting golf. It's going to bring us to hole eight, 249. We're going back up the hill and down the hill. Kind of another one where you can't see off the tee where the where the hole is, but a really fun one. Yep. Uh, as a righty player or even Larry as someone who has a very proficient lefty forehand, this is one that you're looking to get. Uh, it's a pretty stock hyzer. Just got to hit that gap with something stable and let it ride left. Matt going back to this instinct. And that's the one that you got to miss off the tee. Gets a nice kick, though. Still got some distance. See yeah, if he can get up Not going to be a birdie look, though, but uh, he'll be able to scramble. Ben going back to this drone here. And this is a sneaky gap. He said he went similar gap first round, just missed it on that one. Yeah, it's definitely playing tight right now. We'll see what Larry can do. Larry takes one step and just unleashes a bullet. <laughs> yeah, there's that four and I was talking about. FD3 there, super great shot. And what are you reaching for here? This is a Lux method that <laughs> another little ghost branch. I couldn't believe it. I, I thought that was perfect and uh, not going to give me a birdie look, unfortunately. 
Easy up and down. You make these up and downs look easy. How many times do you think you've played this course? Lifetime. I've probably played it uh, probably over 50 times, but um, I mostly play it during the doubles league in the summer on Wednesday nights. So I probably don't have many singles rounds out here than you think. So it's always good to play here, though. My favorite course in Rhode Island. Good run there from Matt. I thought he was acing that one. Uh, good up from Ben. Left him a little more than he wanted. His putter's looking good all day. He's uh, absolutely. That's a big round. It's not a bad bid. Great birdie out of Larry. And don't look now, but Larry's sneaking up on you. Yeah, they all are. I think uh, everyone now is going to be two back. Maybe Ben will drop off from the bogey, but uh, it's getting tighter. It's going to be exciting, folks. Good putt there. Those putts can be nervy, especially with the lead. So that was a big, big par putt. Great front nine. We got some kind of scores up and down. That's going to bring us to hole nine, the finale of this front nine. Really good hole, 312, par three. It looks like a straight tunnel shot, but this is no joke. Yeah, this is uh, definitely the hardest get out of the par threes on this course. Super specific line, and it gets tight down at the end. Just got to take something pretty straight and make it fly the whole way. So many gaps you got to hit. I was trying to think the whole time what I would throw, and uh, I think I might just skip this hole. <laughs> Well, Larry's going with a Buzz OS here and throws the shot shape really well. Not going to get all the distance, but that's what you're looking for when you're uh, in the mix. Yeah, that was a real nice move. 312, I feel like it plays a lot longer. It's just kind of straight. That keeps going. Definitely. And good line out of Matt. Just needed that one, but I like that kind of starting line. And confidence high here. Are you feeling ready to rip this one? I was right before I released it, and uh, that was not my best shot of the day. So Got through, though. Not a did bad. Did get through, not in jail, and should be an easy up and down. And this is a kind of a tricky play for Ben going to that forehand, flippy forehand, and this gets through and just kind of dances all through the hole. Oof. Yeah, he's been throwing that disc Good great kick. all day, and once again, distance control is a really big part of this course. So hit the line great, but it's going to be a tough putt. No joke of an upshot here for Matt. Nice line. This has got to sit as well. Kind of uses that vert ramp there, but that'll putt. And what are you thinking on this upshot here? Well, uh, kind of a percentage play. I'm going for the outside gap and just didn't commit. That is, uh, that's a big mistake. Kind of my first one so far. You were kind of in between distances and gaps there. Yeah. Felt like, yeah. yeah uh, the, sh the straight gap was kind of right in front of me, but uh, the outside gap was just wider and Oh, well, move on, I guess. Larry's looking to capitalize on Ooh. that. <laughs> could, have, could have tied it up right there. and His putter's been hot, so I was definitely nervous on that one. I think all these greens really make you pay for a missed putt. Like, yep. that was a great putt, but they're all kind of death putts on this green, which is great. And the crazy thing is these are all, like, not in the ground baskets. They're all temporary and mm -hmm. great design here to make them level. There's no issues out there. Here's Matt's par bid, just a little right. Really fun hold to end the front nine. Challenging, and scores can kind of move all over the place. Yeah, yep. And that's one Ben's going to want to like back there. Not a gimme for Matt here, and I think he got away with one. You can see he's kind of smiling. Yeah, showing off that catch radius <laughs> there earlier, and he, he tapped the basket. Thank you for that one. Glad I was behind the camera for that one and not putting that because I was nervous for him. And tapping in for a bogey. And these scores, folks, we got an interesting back coming up for that you guys. I did. I mean, that hole played tough for the entire division. We had no birdies um, during round two on that hole and six bogeys out of two, out of eight players. So tough one for sure. But we got a tight battle. We got Larry, Matthew, and Ben just one each back of each other. And uh, it's what the people want, right? We're setting up a nice finale for you guys. Guys, thanks for watching. Shout out to Arlington RV Supercenter. We've got a fun back nine coming for you guys. Make sure you check it out. Harry, thanks for jumping on this one. Of course. Excited for the back nine. Make sure you tune in and uh, enjoy the rest of Brahmas. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the back nine.